we have a Baba Jide Guerrero joining us on the show this morning, and he is the first Nigeria Professional Football League TV presenter. Yes, we have to give him that accolade. Good to have you with us, Jide. Good morning, guys. Good morning, man. How are you doing? What's going on? Very well, very well. We're doing good. Hope you're keeping safe out there. Yeah, it's been it's been quite a thing, you know, with the um, COVID nineteen. Uh, I mean, I would have loved to share space with you in the studio right now, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, uh, COVID nineteen would not allow. Yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm. I think um, staying safe it's, it's it's a responsibility everybody has to take, right? It's a duty, I understand. Mm -hmm. So yes, I am. Thank you very much for asking. Very true. I've got Wally Scott here, and uh, we'll have uh, well, tons of questions to ask you this morning. Judy, good morning. Good morning, sir. Um, what is Scott? Thank you so very much, sir. It's a good pleasure to hear from you, sir. Mm. Yeah, um, let's, let's talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League. How has it been for you getting on board with the MPFL and also knowing that our league is back and, should I say, better than what it used to be? Yes, I think we can say that again, over and again. Um, it is miles and streets away from what it used to be. Mm. Uh, before now, it's a struggle. I mean, when I joined, I just heard Wally Scott mentioning how, how um, joyous a feeling it is, you know, to be able to watch one Nigerian professional football league match, you know, on, on Nigerian TV, and it's a platform. And may I also politely chip in that it's the first time any African country is attempting to have its own uh, platform as big as this. At the last game against... Um, when Kano Pillars played in the uh, Northwest Derby, uh, when Kano Pillars hosted um, Casino United um, in Kaduna, I was with um, Shio Diko, the LMC chairman and uh, the vice president of the NFF, you know, on the touchline. And he mentioned something. He said the app has been downloaded in over 80 countries in the world. And he also um, led on to say there's a projection. However it is, I think this is a huge step in the right direction. Mm. We're coming from a, a certain place where we hear referee decisions terribly. We hear people chasing referees on the football pitch. We hear players coming in with bottles where there was no, there was no um, level of coordination, no level of great understanding, no level of um, how to do, what to do, and when to do it. So I think what the LMC has been able to achieve and what you know, the whole um, fraternity of the NPFL has been able to achieve with this NPFL TV is not only good for football, it's good for the image of Nigeria as a country. Yeah. And that's where we have to start taking it off from. It's good for our image. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you, not even on good account, on the account of what I saw, that um, at least two Nigerian players, maybe by, before the end of January, maybe before the end of um, this particular season, will be traveling to um, clubs I would not like to mention on air because yeah. they were able to see them. We've always clamored, craved, yearned, for, for audio visibility, for mm. visibility, for the players to be visual. Mm. So you say Rabi Ali is one of the best players in Africa on the continent. Let us see him play. Yeah. And guess what? We were able to see Rabi Ali the last time at an end scored a goal against Katsina United. So there will be challenges. There's been challenges. It will always get better. It's the first time. It's the first season. Um, the juries are still, are still very much out about this one. But I think so far... Not so, not so bad at all. I think Jide, um, it can only get better with the support of every Nigerian. What is what I'm Jide, hearing you, sir? You know, you know, you know. I, I, I ask the questions as they are. I say the things as it is. I don't, I'm not scared of anyone, really. Um, okay. The truth be said, Nigerians are ashamed, to a large extent, of showing our football to the world. Why? How are we working on our structures, our pitch? You know, most pitches mm. are really very, very bad. Most of the stadiums mm -hmm. are really, really terrible. And um, it's, 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 it's sad to note that um, um, we are going to show this kind of pitches, this kind of stadiums to the world to see. Some of us, like me, I'm ashamed to show some stadiums to the world, really, if you ask me. Yeah, true. Um, there's no lie in what you said. It's on TV. It's there. Um, but one of the things that the LMC did in preparation for this particular broadcast um, for the um, NPSL TV is that they were able to ratify and drop some couple of stadiums that was not TV worthy mm -hmm. and they didn't have the right infrastructure to host some quality games. Um, I can tell you on good accounts that so far, so good. Um, so far, so good. I think the ones we've seen on TV, and I'm telling you this because I'm privileged to be the presenter, the very first match they won was at the Nest of Champions. 
The nest of champions is, of course, the Godswill at Pabio Stadium in New York. You and I know that's a top quality stadium, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, which yeah, is sure. good for football. Sure. That's the one. The next game we saw was the Aba International Stadium, which has a great pitch but not so good environment. And that's one of the things that we tell about this team. I mean, I said it earlier and I'll keep saying it again. Um, we need to get to a place where every fragment of our football is sellable. And that's including, that's just to butcher what you said about, you know, um, the kind of pitch and stadium. Yes, so and Ahimba was, was good, it was decent. And then first of all, we also went to the Adokia Misimaka Stadium, mm -hmm. which for me is still one of the very best stadiums in Nigeria. And that's where Rivers United um, played against, when United States won their first game you know, of the season, that they played against the Nubu Rangers, Rangers International, in that particular game. They won one go to nil. The turf was good, the environment was good. I think one of the challenges that coronavirus has been able to um, put right there in the mix for us negatively is the fact that um, a lot of people, since they don't have access to stadiums, this is a call. Thank God it's on TV right now. It's a call to all MPFL club managers and stadium managers to try to keep the stadiums in shape. Because just like you said, some of the stadiums are not good for TV. It is bad enough that it's not good. But it can also be better if at all you try to do some basic things right. And I can tell you on good account that all the, stage, uh, all the matches we've shown so far have actually had good, great tough. I can also confirm that tomorrow we will be beaming um, the, at the soccer team with Agege, MFM taking on Sunshine. And you and I agree that that's a good tough too. Yeah, yeah, so, true. so far, so good. Uh, we've been able to portray the good. Now, I agree. I totally agree that the bad still exists. Um, I also totally agree that the bad still needs to be worked on. Oh. But I think we should also, I'm not one who will, I mean, just like Balotelli said, he said he does, the reason why he doesn't jubilate when he scores is because you don't, you don't um, praise a postman for delivering yeah. the mails. He's just yeah. doing his job. True. Yeah, so um, I think about MPFL, I, I wouldn't say, oh, kudos to the LMC. But yes, kudos to them. But there's still so much work to be done especially about the quality of the stadium. But I can tell you that so far, so good. It's not been a bad push for Nigerian football in any way or in any account. Very true. I totally agree with you. And uh, let's, let's talk about the MPFL TV now, which has been downloaded in different countries across the world. Yeah, a lot of people have actually asked me, you know, how did they get to manage their data? That why can't we have um, sponsorship on TV? And I said it's a gradual process. But is there anything the LMC will, will do to come to a level playing ground for those who can afford um, data to watch for, for, from their mobile phones? Okay. Um, Shehudiko mentioned something about a potential. I would, I would like to underline and say in bold and capital, please, that there's a potential relationship that will be established um, with network service provider that will be going forward to try to see if I thought there will be an understanding of how best to help Nigerians manage data. And this is also a small little trick, you know, that um, a number of people now use, and which is also, it's not like a trick, but of course it's just there to help manage data. The resolution is at one, is at 1080p, that's HD, that's the full HD, 1080. And from 1080, there are other options. You can just, when you're watching the video, when you're watching the live games, you can click on the setting. So at 1080p, um, you can get dropped to 380, you can get dropped to uh, 480, and all these are still good, great qualities. So you can still enjoy top quality football at its best without expending so much on data. Uh, because uh, when you want to stream in HD, of course, you know what that, of course, would cost, you know, in terms of data. But yeah. We can adjust that particular field. But aside that, like I said, there is a potential, uh, there is a potential agreement, you know, according to what, you know, Shehudiko said in the particular meeting, that that could be going forward just to have a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And take a look at it. The subscription looks to be quite affordable. Um, I, I, I'll say affordable. I'll say not cheap because nothing is cheap yeah. because affordability itself is relative. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say it's pretty much affordable. 1,500 year subscription um, to enjoy Nigerian Professional Football League. I, I don't think it's at the court truth. Mm. I think, again, because it's the first edition, it will get better. Uh, I'm sure the rest track team are working tirelessly to make sure that all this comes to good. 
for the Niger for the betterment of Nigerian football. But yes, I, I kind of agree with you on that one. You know, this right. side needs to, have, to needs to be appropriately managed. All right, thank you very much, GD, for your time.